they started playing and I felt instantly safer and overwhelmed actually by the beauty of the sound. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Even though there's a hundred of them, they also are like one giant unit. It, it kind of made me feel really safe in a way to know that there's just this incredible bed of lusciousness to fall back on. I've had to really explore the colours of the orchestra to enhance and to, you know, to respect Leanne's songs. A lot of artists, they don't want to come out of that comfort zone. They don't want to um, relinquish what they're used to doing live. But wasn't it kind of wonderful? You can't tell someone that they can't do whatever they want to do artistically because it's it defeats the purpose. I rarely have strings on my recordings as well and horns and stuff. I rarely add those other bits so it's for me, it's really like an indulgence. The orchestra's never attempted this before and Leanne's never attempted it, so it's, it's a one-off, you know. We might never do this again. So for everybody in the room, we're all sharing that kind of knife-edge excitement and anticipation that comes with live orchestral music, which is, for me, is the, the most inspiring thing and always has been. I don't respond well to kind of writing a song on demand, I can't really do that. I think it's, it's counterintuitive because it's like a response to a particular feeling. So it's like you can't just turn that on whenever you want, you know? I think probably for a lot of people in the audience, there will be a large percentage that might have never seen an orchestral gig before. And so they're gonna to get to hear one of the best orchestras in the world. And I've always been a big fan of Leanne. I think she's an incredible artist. The BBC Symphony Orchestra, it's a collective of individuals who are all virtuosic on their instruments and have studied for decades to achieve an extremely high level of, of performance. So to me, it seemed like the perfect marriage, really. I've definitely got the bug for this. They, they are amazing. I'd love to do this again in some other place or in some other uh, guise. So it'd be, yeah, it'd be really amazing to do this again. Barbican is such an amazing, prestigious venue and I'm really honoured, honestly, to be here and to be able to perform my own songs here with the BBC Symphony Orchestra, no less, and Jules Barclay, so thanks for making this possible for me. I really feel, like, lucky. <laughs>